Hello friends, welcome back to the bench. Thank you very much for joining me. Our patient is Z590. Very decent board, nice IOs. Um, with 1200 socket. Um, I don't have 1200 sockets in stock, but the customer sent us the socket with it. Let's see the outline. Outline is there. Not the best, but not bad not bad it should be fine now we're gonna use our new flux for this job which is awesome because now i don't have to breathe all those nasty chemicals that come from king bow flux um, so i can reduce ventilation if i can reduce ventilation in the shop that means i have more stable temperature of the board so that should be reflected in the in rework pro now there's no updates to rework pro at the moment so we're just going to be using the version we've all seen before and let's get to it Alrighty, almost perfect success. The flux works awesome. I must say, it much better than um, than Kingbow, and it doesn't stink. Although I did, because uh, I stopped all the uh, ventilation in the shop uh, to stabilize the temperature. So as you can see, as you can see, the the temperature graph was relatively stable, more stable than I usually get. But usually, I need to have a good ventilation because I'm working with a nasty chemical flux. With this one. I don't. Uh, so yeah, so room got really smoky, <laughs> but it didn't bother me. It's not like it hurts your throat or anything. It's it's actually a pleasant smell. Uh, cleaning also is a lot easier. Uh, check this out. It's nice and clean. Uh, well, there's a little bit of residue at the top, um, but it it just goes uh, goes away with just a little bit of alcohol. You don't need much. You don't even need an ultrasonic cleaner. So that is definitely a plus because it saves a lot of time. Now, unfortunately, when I lifted, uh, so when I received the socket, I inspected the, the balls uh, on the back of it because the top was closed and I didn't open the top. And usually I do as soon as I receive it to see if the socket wasn't damaged. And this one, unfortunately, I don't know when, but uh, it was damaged at some point and I noticed that when I opened the socket. So let's see what it is. It looks like the pin is just bent a little because it looked like it was broken, but it, it, it looks like it's only bent. Let's see, uh, two pins, uh, this one here. Yeah, it should be fine if I just push on it a little. Uh, it doesn't want to stay in that position, but once the CPU gets on it, it should be fine. And the second one, this one. 
same thing. Just a second, Arch. Okay, it looks a lot better. Now looking at it, yeah, you can tell which pins the, these are, but now it looks a lot better because it looked, when I opened it, it looked like it, the, the two pins were completely missing, but they were just slightly bent. So this should be fine. Um, I'm gonna give it a few more, um, a few more washes with alcohol to get rid of all the flux residue, but it looks pretty good. It cleans a lot better than the than the Kingbow flux. And it didn't give us any problems. It's solid on all four cor in all four corners. Uh, looks like it's soldered on correctly. It's aligned. It should be fine. Alrighty. Thank you guys very much for watching. I do appreciate you. And I shall see you in the next one.